what's up guys showing off Kraken build number 199 a couple cool things we got with this one <clears throat> you've got one of those bronzed dials where they were uh, painted and then baked and this one is got a nice bronzing color to it This is in a 170 brush case. I've only done a few of these. And then this is actually a new one piece bezel. It is both uh, brushed and matte finish. And it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but th this raised matches this. And this down here is a matte finish. So kind of hard to see, uh, but in person you'll see the kind of the sheen coming off of it to kind of match. So uh, set of <clears throat> why is it slipping my mind? Um, paddle hands, some silver paddle hands, Kraken engraved uh, crown as well as a milled and kraken engraved case back stainless steel movement holder in there signed rotor um and then your kraken case back and then this is on a super thick uh distressed brown with uh with green leather and then a nice white green stitch brushed preview buckle on there and this is a very, very, very thick strap. So I've been kind of messing with it a little bit because we've got, uh, this fits, but it is tight. So I'm going to probably soak that in a little bit of a, uh, leather strap care with that little fold over. Makes it a little bit tough. So there it goes. Might be a little tougher on your wrist to get it to go. So, um, it is sized properly. It is just very, very, very thick. So I'll probably, like I said, throw some weather conditioner on there and uh, work on this a little bit. It's nice matching weather, so let's see what I can do with that. A lot of times what I do is I find like a real thick point on both ends and then I, I run them together and then just let them sit there to where it kind of works itself out. Like right there is thick, right there is thick. To just kind of get it to expand. So I threw some weather conditioner on it at that and and uh, and work it. But uh, in order to show this off, I probably need to go ahead and remove that. Bezel on this will turn left, it'll turn right. This is a uh, not a quick style bezel, but it's a very awesome bezel, like you said. Number one, first, first bezel like this going on there. <clears throat> Automatic mechanical, so you can wind it where it, put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not gonna be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point you can wind, and a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you will keep time throughout the day. And if you do it for something closer to 15 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, you'll pull it to the one and only click, and you can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. You'll also notice you've got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So when you're pushing prime on it, you are not putting any adverse pressure on there. Should be around seven. Okay, Google, what time is it? Seven o three p.m. Seven o three p.m. You push it over, get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. And that is the build.
As with every boat, you're going to get matching beads. Entirely up to you whether you wear these or not. But they match nicely. And uh, come with your build. Scum in a green. Kraken box. Greens don't match, but it's the only green box I've got. Come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here in the center, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. We'll also come with leather conditioner to keep this strap perfectly soft. Apply it on the front, back, let it soak in, and remove any excess. This will keep that strap perfectly soft. And then lastly, you've got some Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It's like poly watch. It's for your acrylic glass because you can scratch it, but if you do, put a tiny bit of this on it and buff it out using your included microfiber. This scratches up and down. Go left and right, fill in that scratch, haze it, buff it out. Uh, if you do not get the scratch out, wait a little bit and then do it again once that solidifies so that you're not pulling out what you've put in there. And, uh, and that's it. That's the build. If it's going to you, congrats. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you love the watch. And uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.